Today we're going to be looking at the naming of Surat al-Shu'ara, the poets. And the poets as a chapter is named like this because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions towards the end of the surah. He said, الغاون, The poets are followed by those who are misguided or those who cause misguidance. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that the power, there is a power that is yielded by the shu'ara, by the poets, because of their usage of words, their usage of poems, by the, the rhythms and etc. And today, the shu'ara can be, um, you know, can be related to two categories of people. One is the musicians. Uh, the pop singers and their likes, all the different types of music, uh, because again, they do write words and they do affect people. And subhanAllah, today the pop or the music industry uh, is not just a multi million pound industry, it's a multi billion pound industry, you know, with people selling, um, selling music uh, at, at ridiculous rates. Um, but if you imagine what the actual industry does, is that it allows words to enter and people to react to those words and maybe even shape, well not maybe, definitely shape mindsets and, and, and concepts. And the other category of poets are the, is the media. People who influence society through their rhetoric. And this is now no longer a, a question of just being a, an assumption or a, or a theory, it is reality. And there are studies that to that effect, you know, there are actual research showing how media influences people's uh, mentality. And something that's not far from us is the whole concept of Islamophobia. And today, the amount of studies which show how the media uses uh, Islam and it pays, it, it pays money and uses its different opportunities to yield uh, Islam or to show Islam in a negative light. Uh, using negative stereotypes, negative, um, you know, associations, etc, etc. And that actually has worked. You know, there are studies which actually show that the media influences people's attitudes. So without going too much detail on the, in the, on the media in this short talk, so the, the reality of the shu'ara, the poets, is that they do have an influence. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned them in this surah and gave them, uh, if you like, that um, notion so that one could understand their... Uh, realities and how they affect you. And in fact, when you look at the whole chapter of the Shura, you can see that it's full of people who try to control the narrative, you know, with their prophets, you know, trying to influence ways and influence uh, thinking. And at the time of the Prophet, ﷺ, this was quite prominent because, I mean, today we talk about the media, we talk about, but even the, the poets themselves, you know, they had that influence of changing how people's perceptions are and, 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 and a poetry which is easy on the tongue, you know, it's a rhythm, people can sing it, can, it can easily go viral, as they say today, uh, and, and, and so it can happen. And I want to give you a couple of incidents. One is that, uh, in fact, there are many stories in, in the Arab culture uh, which show how, you know, poets did cause a lot of uh, anguish, and some of them were really quite mischievous uh, in, in, in that uh, regard. One of them was um, called Al uh, uh, Al 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 uh, and he was a guy who, again, who was using his poetry and he was uh, using it in different in different ways to the extent that on one occasion he uh, sang a poet a couple of lines of poetry to one of the governors. The governor thought that this was actually, you know, um, didn't quite see the badness in it but some of his people around him said what, what do you mean he's actually uh, he's completely mocked you yeah uh, because he said to him المكارم لا ترحل لبغيتها وقعد فإنك أنت الطاعم الكاسي he said leave the you know the honorable things you don't need to travel go and look for it and just sit down because you will be fed and you will be clothed uh, so he thought that he was just saying, yeah, basically you're an honorable person, you don't have to go about. But actually what he's saying to me is he's saying to him, you're basically like a woman, you know, you sit down, 
You don't need to go out, no, you know, because you're a governor and everybody's just bringing money to you and etc. So anyway, he complained to Umar and Umar uh, actually ended up putting this guy in prison uh, because of his, his uh, poetry and the way that he used it. Another thing was regards to, uh, to a tribe, uh, which I mentioned very quickly, they were known as Anfunaqa. The tribe was known as Anfunaqa, which means the nose of the uh, camel. Uh, it's a long story, time does not allow us to explain the story, but anyway, they, the tribe after a while were really sort of almost disgraced by this name, you know, it's, what kind of name is that to have, you know, the, the nose of a, of a camel, and subhanAllah today you find strange surnames as well that are going around in the world today, you know, and sometimes you wonder how do these surnames come around, anyway, there's a story behind this, time does not allow us, but what they did is, and this was the clever point, they went to a poet, to a poet and they asked him to do something here and uh, they might have even paid him money to do that so he he wrote just a couple of lines and of those lines that he said he said they are those people are they are the noses whilst others are the tails and how can you compare the noses to tails so basically he twisted the whole <laughs> The whole uh, concept of what a nose is and being that, you know, it's actually a prominent part, it's honorable, etc. compared to the tail or the, the back end of the, of the camel. Uh, and, and he said a few things. So they ended up actually feeling proud and happy to be part of this tribe known as Anfu and Naqa. So that's the point of the lesson today. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws us attention to the shu'ara, but also Allah makes a very important exception. See, those shu'ara are followed by those who are misguided or mis cause misguidance but he said إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَةِ So there is an exception. So poets, media, uh, artists, nasheed, artists can be used in a productive way to actually spin things around as well for reverse propaganda when there are people trying to target uh, Muslims in different way. As well. So that is also an important point to note there. Jazakumullah.